we now get to talk about one of my favorite interviews I've done with Trump supporters in the past. Of course, we're recapping some of these discussions I've had because um, you guys have particular interest with this. Um, and so before we watch this clip, but like I said, stick around. It's very, very fascinating. Let me kind of give you the groundwork, lay the foundation. So uh, this is May 2022. Someone asked if I could give you the date when I do these past interviews. Mm. And it's right when... Dinesh D'Souza was about to release or already released that 2000 Mules movie. And that's what they were very concerned with. And so this, despite most interviews I do, stay pretty chill and uh, it's not even that debatey. It's just kind of me hearing their views and it tends to be pretty bonkers. This one, I decided I'm going to push back a little bit if they talk about the election being stolen. And this is what we got. With the best looking people at this event, what are you guys hoping to see here at the... Uh the speech. I'm uh, looking for anything that has to do with election fraud. Uh, we came to hear Dinesh and the new movie 2000 Mules, how to avoid this going forward. My recommendation to your whole audience is everybody needs to take off some time in November. Let's get to every ballot location with video and start videotaping this so it doesn't happen again. Okay, what about you? And I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where obviously they had 1,100 mules. Um, I just wanted to ask Dinesh, what is it that we could do differently for the next mm -hmm. election? And obviously, you know, it's really nice to be around a lot of other patriots. So here's my question on that. When I hear people talk about this, I want to give it the time of day. But then you look at every official medium that you would make, you know, prove that. The courts, all those things. Well, courts, and it's not, it's and it's not like there's not even the people that Trump appointed. <laughs> so that's my favorite part where they're talking about how it was all stolen. And I'm saying, but no place where you would prove that was it proven mm. and her response is well the courts are all corrupt but what about the judges that were appointed by trump and instead of saying they're still corrupt which just assert that if you're gonna lie just keep lying out oh, whatever <laughs> um she just goes i don't know it just turns to uh, the guy that she's with and then you'll see in a few seconds here walks away question so the thing is we all know that it happens so we i don't know that but what's that I don't know that. Well, I need evidence to believe something like that. You already know. I know. So listen, it's this. How about this? Social media only seems to censor liberals because they never talk how great Biden is. Eighty-one million people. I've yet to see anything pro-Biden. How about you? I think Biden's done good stuff. There's some pro-Biden stuff. Like what? American Rescue Plan, getting out of F The way I said that was confusing. What I was trying to say is he said, I've never seen anything pro-Biden. And I was like, I'll give you something pro-Biden. I like Biden. You know, he's done some good stuff. Um, not a wholesale endorsement, I'm saying. <laughs> he said some good stuff, right? Um, and also some bad stuff. But that is such a strange response to, why do you think the election was stolen if it hasn't been proven anywhere where you'd prove it? And his response is, well, how about this? <laughs> I don't see too many things on social media that are pro-Biden. Hmm, I think algorithms kind of make it that way sometimes for people who really like content that just tells them what they want to hear, right? Mm. Afghanistan, managing the Russia-Ukraine war. Taxes at its 40-year high, giving, giving baby formula to immigrants coming over the border, except the own, our own But on the, the baby formula thing, you do understand that that's like 0.001% of baby formula. It, are you affected by the baby formula? I'm not. Right. But if they what don't get it, their Americans babies starve. Are. If Americans here, they can find other ways to get it. But what they're about, stuck, hold on, detained. What about the Americans that are affected? Oh, and are we need they, to help them as well. And that's what we're trying. I'm sure they're trying to do. An immigrant? Of course not. Okay. They're all important. I like the fact that our tax money goes to the Ukraine where it gets laundered back to these corrupt politicians. And the media media journals that are all liberal, much like yourself, you keep on spinning this. There's no escaping. He has done nothing right. But have a good day. You too. So, hmm. Just to quickly summarize the point that he was making because it was kind of a story that was, um, was relevant in that time shortage on baby formula and the story came out that immigrants being detained at the southern border had gotten baby formula because they're detained and if their their babies don't get it they're just gonna die because we are the only ones that get to choose if they get it if you're just a free citizen you can find other ways to make sure your kid gets fed mm. but um then also if you gave all of the stuff that was given to immigrants to america says it wouldn't have made a dent in the problem it was a supply chain problem that was affecting a lot of people and that was the actual root cause that should be addressed so it was just a waste of time and a way to stir up anger towards immigrants but 
the 40 year high thing on taxes, taxes hadn't been raised at that point. And I don't know where he's getting that from. Um, so very strange. And again, one of the things that's weird is I talk to a lot of Trump supporters who, whenever we're just chill and talking, they'll say, you know, I really wish that liberals could engage in conversations. I feel like liberals don't ever want to hear things that um, contradict with what they believe. But then in the moment when I actually do that and we share our views, we're supposed to have that open exchange of ideas, right? Mm. It gets really uncomfortable and they want to leave. Whereas I'm great to stand there as long as they like and go back and forth and hear what they have to say. The only unfair part, I'll admit, I just noticed there for the first time, even though I've seen this a bunch of times, um, is it is nice to be the one holding the microphone. Because <laughs> there was one part where he was talking and all you could hear was me talking. Um, but you know, I feel like I still give it to them often enough. Let them sure, say what they gotta sure. say. Very, very interesting country we live in. Do not forget, if you're interested in the occasional tweet, I'm not an aggressive tweeter and I also <laughs> am not great at caring about Twitter, to be frank. <laughs> if you're wondering why I've never talked about it, never shouted it out and um, not gonna, sending out stuff that often, but I'm gonna try to get better. Why am I doing this now that Twitter seems to be dying? I don't know. Um, <laughs> because the show has started growing on a lot of platforms mm -hmm. and I've gotten people asking when I go and check you out there, nothing's going on. It's going on now, okay, <laughs> sort of. So Luke P. Beasley, Luke P. Beasley, uh, check me out there as long as Twitter is still alive. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before any of the clips are uploaded to YouTube, plus get access to an extra full show every Saturday that only members can see, you can do so by going to patreon.com slash Luke Beasley. That's patreon.com slash Luke Beasley, and there is a link in the description.